Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's Tyler, I'm up at Green Mountain CrossFit North, so I apologize if it's a little echoey, but I wanted to talk to you real quickly about a, a position called the German hang. So this is another hanging position, similar to our passive hang or active hang. Uh, German hang is going to be a way to get our shoulders into extension and load it a little bit. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, we're going to show you a couple of options for scaling this to an appropriate level for you. So, German hang can be done on the bar over there. I'm sure you're using rings. It's a little bit easier to deal with on the rings. Uh, I'm going to start on the higher base. Full version of the German hang looks a lot like the skin the cat. So, if you can get yourself up into a skin the cat position, you're going to lower the legs behind you, and then come all the way through as far as you can. We're looking to mobilize the shoulder and get the shoulder into a loaded position. So, I don't care if you have the strength to come back through or not. You can drop down out of it when you're done. Um, details on this, we want the shoulders to be slightly protracted. So as my hands are behind me, my shoulders come slightly forward, that's okay. But not elevated. I don't want them coming up into my ears. Uh, thumbs are going to be behind me and pointed in. It's going to be a little bit less stressful on the elbow than trying to keep them turned out. You can also do it turned out, but it's much harder uh, to do. That gives you more options for advanced gymnastics. We're not going to worry about that stuff now. So, what happens if uh, there's no way I can get up and over the rings like that? We can use a lower set of rings, thankfully. So, you can set the rings high enough that you can pick your feet up off the ground, or we can set our hands in the rings. Now, uh, here thumbs point out. So, if I'm going to, if I have my thumbs pointing together in front, thumbs are going to point out in the back. You guys can see that. So, here I'm going to grab kind of underneath the rings, swing them around behind me, and now my thumbs point together. Here on the ball of my foot, I am going to slowly bend the knees and load the shoulder as much as I can, keeping my shoulders forward but not elevated, keeping them depressed uh, into my back pockets. I can load this as much as I want, get as much stretch into the shoulders I'm comfortable with. I'll show you that again from the other side. I grab the rings underneath. A little bit of a weird grip on the rings. I'm going to swing them behind me, and this allows the thumbs to point together. Balls of the feet, slowly lower down, and load the shoulder as much as is reasonable for you, and come back up. Third option for this, if neither of those work really well, uh, you can use a box. Another 24 inch box here, but the height is not super critical. Uh, I'm going to put my hands on the box. With the box, you have to have your thumbs pointing out. It just doesn't work that well to use the back of your hand. So palms flat on the box, relatively close together, about shoulder width. You're going to take a wide stance, a little ways away from the box, and then squat down and forward. And here I can start to load my shoulders into that very same position, very similar position, without as much body weight or without having to worry about getting up and through the rings. So, German hang, a couple of options for you. This is a really good loaded stretch. Uh, stretch out the front of the shoulder and get you into that extended shoulder extension position. I uh, hope you guys have fun with it. If you have any other questions, we'll see you in the gym.